Today we will take up problem number 17. The problem goes like this. The rate of return and the probability of uh, the two different stocks have been given A and B. So the problem goes like this with probability, rate of return on stock A, rate of return on uh, stock B. So the values are given therein. There are three questions given for that. A find out the expected rate of return for stock A and stock B. Next, second question B. If an investor invests equal proportion on both the stocks, what would be the returns? Next, C, the third one. If the, if the proportion is changed to 75% and 25% to A and B, and 25% and 75% to A and B, what would be the expected rate of return? So there are three different questions are given. We'll go one by one. The first one is the calculation of expected uh, returns. I'll go for that first. So probability is given, return on stock A is given, return on stock B is given. So we'll go one, one by one. That is to find the expected return. Expected return is nothing but E of R. So to find E of R for stock A, we have to go for R A. R A is nothing but return on stock A. R B is nothing but the return on stock B. So return is R for stock A. For stock B, I have written. The stock names are different. If it is 1 and 2, you can take it as 1 and 2. If it is X and Y, you can take it as X and Y. Like that, you can proceed. But the probability is common for stock A and stock B. The probability is same. It can be different also. So we'll go for the multiplication RA into P. RA is this column. P is this column. We'll go for multiplication. Minus 2 into 0 0.05. 9 into 0 0.2 12 into 0 0.5 15 into 0 0.2 26 into 0 0.05 So we have to multiply and find the value therein one by one So first one is minus 2 into 0 0.05 So this gives minus 0 0.1 9 into 0 0.2 that gives 1.8 12 into 0 0.5 that will give us so we are multiplying RA into P 12 into 0 0.5 is 6 15 into 0 0.2 is 3 26 into 0 0.05 1.3 so here 1 is in minus value remaining all are in plus value add all the plus values and then minus 0 0.1 that will give you expected return of stock A as 12. Coming to the other one, expected return of uh, stock B. Similarly, we have to work now. RB, RB is this column minus 3, 6, 11, 14, 19. Multiplied by the probability values 0 0.05. 0 0.2, 0 0.5 again, 0 0.2 and 0 0.05. We have to go for the multiplication. So when you multiply those values, point, uh, minus 3 into 0 0.05, minus 0 0.15, 6 into 0 0.2, 14 into 0 0.5, 5.5, 14 into 0 0.2, 2.8, 19 into 0 0.05, 24 into 0.95. So this again we have to add and find the value. One is in minus, remaining all in plus, 
add all the plus values minus 0.15 you will get there in 10.3 so this is the first question answer calculation of expected return for stock a and stock b next you move on to the second part of it it is b here when the portfolio is given that is investing in stock a as well as stock b in different proportion what will be the portfolio return we are finding it out so calculation of portfolio return pr we can say for that if investor invest equally in both the stocks that is stock a also 50% stock b also 50% i have taken it as uh, the proportion so remember note proportion is equal to rates that is equal to w so proportion also means same weight also going to mean the same so i have used the word w here w for a w for b so weight for stock a weight for stock b here it is given very clearly equally there are two to so 50% and 50% we we'll go for finding the portfolio return er of a 12 then the 50% for uh, the stock a proportion 50% is 0.5 plus er of b 10.3 multiplied by again 0.5 so when you simplify you get 6 and 5.15 so pr of the first combination 11.15 so if the investor goes for 50% 50% the portfolio return will be 11.15% of returns then question number c it is given differently now if the proportion is changed to 75% in stock A and 25% in stock B what will be the portfolio return so stock A will be 75% stock B will be 25% so there are two questions in C there are two parts i have mentioned as C only here but there are two parts we cannot work all together two different combinations are given so we have to work separately 75 25 next one is 25% in stock A and 75% in stock B. Let me go for the first one here. ER of A 12. Weight of A 75%. That is 0.75 plus ER of B 10.3 into 25%. That is 0.25. So we have to simplify further. Here, twelve into zero point seven five nine, ten point three into zero point two five, two point five seven five. So portfolio return for this is eleven point five seven five percent. This is bit more than the first combination. And we go for the last part of the section. Uh, question C. Question C, last part, and seventy-five percent for A, and uh, twenty-five percent for A, and seventy-five percent for B. What will be the expected return? So A twenty-five percent, B seventy-five percent. So again, ER of A multiplied by weight, ER of B multiplied by weight. 75% is 0.75. So simplify 12 into 0.25. That is 3. 10.3 into 0.75. 7.725. So portfolio return or expected return both are same here. 10.725. So. If you compare all the three, this is the best one. You can say rank one. So, if the investor will be suggested, 
investor has to go for 75% in stock A and 25% uh, in stock B because that is the best return out of the three different combinations that has been given for uh, investor.